If you don't yet have a water filter in your home, I hope after you watch this video, you get inspired to get one because a new study found that about 45% of tap water samples throughout the US, there were 716 samples between the years 2016 and 2021. And this recently published study found that tap water is loaded with persistent organic pollutants, endocrine disrupting chemicals known as forever chemicals that are found in flame retardants from Gore-Tex, plastics, and other industrial manufacturing. The the title of this study that we're going to talk about today is Per and Polyfluoroalkyl Substances. These, again, are the forever chemicals from flame retardants, water repellents, and so forth, and plastics in U.S. tap water. Comparison of underdeserved private well and public supply exposures and associated health implications. This is a damning new study, and I think a lot of people buy organic food, you exercise, you intermittent fast, you do all the right things, but too many people don't have adequate water filtration systems on their sinks where they drink water. It's really important to do. Most natural food stores, even Whole Foods, now have the ability to bring in glass jars. You can buy filtered water there. For years, I did this because I could not afford to get an under the sink water filtration device. We did an unboxing video during the year 2021. Uh, there's a local company here um, that Custom Pure, you can check them out. I'll put links below. They have a two stage carbon resin as well as carbon filtration system. I, I like that. It's good to look at your local area. Uh, depending upon the bulk density or the, the density of the water. You know, that system is good for the Washington area, may not be good for California. I don't know all the nuances, the physics there, but they did explain that to me. So check with your local area, find a good water filtration device. Even the Berkey is a nice way to go. They have a carbon filtration system and a fluoride and chloride filtration system that goes right on your countertop. So definitely check that out. But in this study, tap water was collected from 716 locations, 269 private wells, as well as 447 public supply across the U.S. and was collected between the years 2016 and 2021 in different uh, sites all throughout the country, the eastern seaboard, the Midwest, the West, the Southeast, and 17 polyfluoral alkylated substances, again, the forever chemicals, were observed at least once with PFBSs, PFH. X's, I don't even know what these are, but these are a related perfluoroalkyl forever chemical. Again, these are endocrine disruptors leading to infertility, hormonal disruption, cancer, and the like. So you don't want to get exposed to these compounds. Okay, now these were uh, common in about 15% of samples, but 45% of samples had at least one perfluoroalkyl substance. And again, these are the polyalkylated and polyfluorinated alkyl substances that are, are not good. The flame retardants, the water repellents, all of that, uh, really problematic. Now, it turns out that where you live in the country impacts your exposure in the tap water. The eastern seaboard and the Midwest had highest concentrations in the tap water of these forever chemicals also the Southeast. And if you look at the obesity rates, it turns out that if you look at the Southeast, you look at Oklahoma, Arkansas, Mississippi, you look at the Midwest and the Eastern seaboard, that's where you see a high occurrence of obesity, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and the like. It could be related to exercise and the ability to get outdoors. You know, you have a high concentration of, of people in that area of the country, but also higher exposure to industrialized chemicals. Now, you might be saying, well, why is this? Why isn't the EPA doing something about this? Because there's this Safe Drinking Water Act that went into effect with Congress. It became legis legislation, I believe, in the 1980s. So people think, well, if it's legal, it must be safe. But here's some things from the New York Times. This was an article that was published back in 2009. The title is, The Tap Water May Be Legal, But Unhealthy. So there are only 91 contaminants that are regulated by the Safe Drinking Water Act, yet more than 60,000 chemicals are used within the United States, according to the EPA. But not one chemical has been added to the list of the regulated chemicals that should not be in your water supply as part of the Safe Drinking Water Act since 2000. This is crazy. So 23 years later, we are introducing all of these flame retardants and bisphenols and other plasticizers and all these things with regards to manufacturing and, 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 and industry and so forth. These are now ubiquitous in our environment and it appears they're now ubiquitous in 
your drinking water, that you're giving to your children, that you're giving to your pets, that you're showering and bathing with, you know, that hot bath or that, that hot tub that you go into, you could be soaking your body in forever chemicals. So if you're eating all the right foods and you're exercising and you're wondering, why can't I lose the weight? Why can't I improve my health? Well, turn no further to your tap water. Make sure that you're buying filtered water, that you're investing in filtering out some of these chemicals that could be altering your hormones, altering your sleep, altering your immune system, and impacting fertility and testosterone levels and, and all of this. So I would definitely give this a read, especially if you live in Southern California. It turns out, and many of you might know this, but in Southern California, the reservoirs were getting so hot. They're outside of, I think, San Bernardino County and north of Pasadena, or in the summer, it gets you know, 110, 115 degrees. And the local authorities wanted to come up with a solution to prevent all that water from evaporating. So what did they do? They dumped 4 million pounds of plastic balls. The balls that you might see in, say, a McDonald's jungle gym or something like that, where kids are jumping around. And these plastic balls are getting uh, bombarded with heat, and they're sitting on the water, and they release things called bromates as well as a, and that is found actually in jet fuel. It's one of the compounds in jet fuel. This is a, they call it perk. And there's other components that are found in this plastic that create, when the sun it hits it, creates similar endocrine disrupting chemicals that you would find in things like jet fuel and aeronautics that you don't want to be exposed to. So it turns out that if you live in Southern California, particularly, uh, and possibly Southern Arizona, you want to invest in a water filter because there there are uh, unfortunately high levels of perk and other microplastic chemicals because your water supply is being tainted with plastic to prevent it from evaporating. So it seems on one side kind of ingenious in, in so far as people are trying to figure out a way to prevent the water from being really hot. But instead of what's now getting heated, the plastic balls as they sit on your water if you live in LA. So that's important to recognize. This is not a conspiracy theory. When you talk about this stuff, people might think you're crazy, but we see the obesity rates. We see the chronic disease rates. If you work with or know anyone in healthcare, they will tell you the patients that they see today are sicker than they've ever seen in history before at younger and younger ages. I have a lot of friends, a lot of people in my life that work in healthcare. They're telling me people in their twenties and thirties are sicker than some of the people that they've seen historically in their fifties and sixties. So we need to look beyond just diets and calories and exercise. That stuff is important, but exposure to these endocrine disrupting chemicals, these forever chemicals are harming your health, my friends. So please invest in your health, get a water filter. I'll put links and resources below. If you enjoyed this video in the show notes, hit that like button. Be sure to share this with a friend to inspire them to invest in water filtration devices. And we will catch you on a future episode down the road. Have an awesome day.